Welcome back to another video. You already know who it is, man. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a pro acoustic guitar inside of Studio One. So to do this, you gotta be on uh, Presence and you gotta have, you see where it says guitar, not under artist instruments on guitar. I click nylon and then there's full legato, legato vault. Now they got these other ones too and you could try those out too, but I haven't really got into those. My, these are my favorite three. Now, the one that I like the most is Legato. So I drag and I drop that. Play it. So this thing right here, the probability is the Legato that makes it sound like a real, let me turn it up a little bit. Actually, let me turn up my Mac because it's probably loud and I can't hear. There we go, oh yeah. And I'm on this little small little 25 five key thing so um i just want to let you hear the sound so um what i did is i added a reverb so when you press this you get you get some reverb and you can do the mix size but i mean you are clear and crispy that sounds you can mess with the lows but you hear that hold on it's a fret noise that's what it's called that, that. So that's either done through the prob probability or you can go to, if you want it to be more probable and you see the level is up, it can go louder. Basically every note that you press. But um, the full doesn't have it at all whatsoever. It doesn't even give you the option. So it just depends on um, out of those three, which one you like. So let's just say legato. I throw a little more probability on there. Please don't just copy me. Do this like for yourself. Then there's the reverb, like I mentioned. And then there's the filter. The filter, it's the same right now, but once you do that, you hear that? No one would even notice the stock. And then you could work with the punch if you want it to be a little harder. If you wanna have some more drive. Res, resonance. So it doesn't sound too dark. I mean, come on now. The key, the velocity. See the difference when you do the velocity? It's like how hard, it's basically going how hard. You're pushing it down, that's what the velocity. Then they got the different signs. Sorry, I'm just pressing the same keys. I just want you right here. And they tell you right here when you hover over, I think. This is the BP ladder. The L, the, uh, yeah, y'all see. They got oh, this, uh, the eco filter. Y'all know about the eco. Then they have the soft filter on there. I mean, you can, as you can tell, it, we're already ready to go for professional, but then they got delays. So turn up the mix. You can do the timing. So let's set up a, uh, let's do the metronome on. And let's set, uh, So for the sake of time, all I'm gonna do is just put the MIDI, cause I'm not gonna sit up here and try to come up with a melody. I just want this to, let's go to a melody. So let's just say we want that. Drag and drop. Let's take it off the unison MIDI wizard. And now here's where I start really just. So now I got a melody. I'm gonna just start touching up the mix. That note sounds off. That's better. Now 
Then you can glide on me. But I don't like it, to be honest. I don't really find it necessary for me. But velocity. I'll use it like around 80. Now, mind you, now when I'm going in, since all the velocity is the same, I'm highlighting them all. I'm going to my macros. Music editing. Velocity. Randomize. So it gives it that real feel. Then add your effects. Um, like if I were to bounce this down. Go to Pro EQ. You could drag over EQ. By the way, it has an EQ on here. On the presence. Presence could do a lot more than what it looks like. Um, you go to FXB. And you could turn on the EQ right here. And do it similar to. You could turn on your lead or make it on bass. And you could do a similar. I'm not saying this is the way I do it. I'm just showing you um, showing you what you can do without having to add Pro EQ because in a sense that's what this is that's all it is is Pro EQ so that's if you were to that's EQ'd like for example if that's what you want it you actually get that with a little distortion. You'd be surprised how many people would like that. I mean, I wouldn't, but you'd be you'd be surprised. They have pan, you know, so it's bouncing left and right. So you definitely have um and you have modu modulators right here. So I mean, <laughs> this thing has a lot. You could pitch tune from here, you could transpose. It sort of reminds me of Omnisphere. See, that might be more your cup of tea. Minus, obviously. That's probably your color right there, your pitch. So then there's the LFOs. I mean, there's a lot you can do to make it sound more professional. What I will say is kind of stay away from these unless you know what you're really doing. Um, this is more the advanced stuff. This is for like the envelopes and the amps, amplifications of what you're doing because you move the knob one time in the wrong place, you're gonna be control Z in, command Z in. So you just wanna make sure you know what you're doing um, when you do all that. That being said, um, there is other guitars if you don't just want to use the um, legato. And that's how you make a professional guitar.